So this is in the laundry room, and again, it's almost 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, I don't think the light's on in the laundry room. It might be, but the light's certainly on in the kitchen, um, I think. Um, every time I was, that was by myself, um, or most of the time I was by myself, this twack would kick up a notch. I'm going to draw some interpretations of where um, I saw some faces. Anytime this twack overlaps like, a, like a, an object... Uh, because of those rows of eyes and those columns of eyes, um, it makes it look like the objects have faces on them at a glance or in your, or in your peripheral vision or when you're looking directly at it. Um, I think it's easy to see how some of this could be interpreted that way. It could be interpreted a million other ways. And again, it doesn't matter if you can make out or see how I could make out these items uh, or these 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 uh, this, these interpretations. Um, what's important to know is this is not camera noise. This is 2 p.m. in the middle of the day. Um, yes, it's in a laundry room, but again, it's a very small one in the kitchens, like just to the right. And uh, again, I saw this noise or this twack with my eyes unaided. I'm going to draw some uh, more interpretations here. What's important to note also with these faces is a lot of times if you look directly at the mouth, it won't look like the, as much of a mouth as it does when you look at the uh, eyes. That is intentional. And uh, like right here, like I think this is very easily interpreted as like a face right there. But again, even if you can't make this stuff out, and I don't always see faces in these things, because a lot of times this stuff is moving so rapidly, it's hard to see these faces unless, like, you know, they're just, they wiggle a little bit. But a lot of times they morph so much, it's just, you just see a lot of noise. Um, after these, after I draw a few of these faces, or these interpretations, uh, it'll start moving again, and you'll see that this is still even slowed down, and it still moves pretty quickly. It doesn't have to move quickly. Like I've seen them, like I've seen two uh, in one night when I was walking uh, near the grove, um, I saw two holograms, like literally lit up like a neon sign, not as brightly lit as a neon sign, but I could walk around them. And they, 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 one was floating, one was just like a, like a kind of like a three dimensional running man, kind of like a bathroom sign type of run, uh, man of uh, icon, but in a running position. And then I saw a crude hologram of a bicycle. And that bicycle, um, I don't think the wheels were moving on it, but it, it just sort of like, um, it, uh, sort of hovered, um, just above the ground and just like went right by me when they went down, continued down the street that I was walking on. Uh, but see, you can still see in the corner there, especially in the corners there, it would be more noticeable. And, uh. Sometimes it would look like that there were like uh, there's a person hiding in my closet or a person in the corner of the room. Um, see so over there on the right. I think it's very easily interpretable as like like a face there where that where that bag is. I don't know if there I don't know what that what's inside that. I'm gonna pause it here and do a few more interpretations of faces that I saw. I think this one's pretty uh, easy one to see as well. Another important note is that while I'm doing these videos while I'm recording them and looking at the footage on uh, as I record it live and when I review it later and when I'm editing these and when I'm doing these types of um, enhancements or uh, 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 rotations in the videos um, what's important to note is that there's still do, I'm still suff I'm still in the midst of being gang socked and so I'm still suffering these projections in the sense of uh, and here it looked like I think there's you know could be interpreted as eyes on eyes on the um, on the panel there but uh, in various ways but so while i'm doing these videos they will project into my eyes in between my eyes and the screen and onto the phone screen itself and so it's already interpretable many different ways but then again when there's like when i'm still suffering like this twack in the air sometimes i could be notating something on here and you truly don't see it because it truly isn't there I've spoken before about how, you know, I saw creatures like being put on Windex bottles. And so here are some, you know, laundry detergent bottles. And I'm going to highlight some areas that could be interpreted as eyes or mouths or faces or something like that. And again, even if you don't interpret it this way or, or in any way, this is not camera noise. I saw this with my eyes unaided.
And of course, whenever I didn't have the camera rolling um, or didn't have enough storage on my phone to uh, make a recording, these were much better examples than, uh, or the ones that I saw were much better examples than these, as is always the case with them. They don't like to have witnesses or they like for you to have uh, footage that's very vague and, and hard to believe as anything, but just, you know, a paranoid, delusional, schizophrenic that's suffering from 24-7 daily psychoses. I'm going to show some more faces here. I think it's pretty obvious that these could be interpreted this way. Um, whether or not you believe that they were intended to be that way, again, I saw this with my eyes unaided without the use of a camera. I didn't just choose to go into the laundry room and just start recording the detergent bottles and the walls for no reason at all. I'm going to do another freeze frame here, and as I say that, they're playing the 80s song, Freeze Frame. Freeze frame. Freeze frame. And as I'll show here again, like, you can interpret this multiple different ways, or in no way at all. But again, I saw this noise or this projected twack with my eyes unaided. Um, you know, it certainly moved a lot faster, as you saw before the freeze frame, and even that was probably in slow motion as well. But I saw this with my eyes unaided. I didn't just choose to point the camera in the laundry room for fun. Here I'm going to do a few more interpretations that I saw on the laundry deter detergent bottles. <laughs> um, and again, I saw this with my eyes unaided. So even if you don't interpret it anyway, I saw this noise or twack with my eyes without the aid of a camera. I didn't just choose to point the camera at laundry detergent bottles and just to see what happens. I'm going to do another interpretation here of the laundry detergent bottles with the twack on them and in front of them and in my eyes or in the camera lens. Remember, I saw this with my eyes unaided without the use of a camera. I didn't just choose to point the camera at laundry deter detergent bottles just for the shiggles, just for shiggles. This eye that you see right here, it appears to sort of change into two eyes and then back to one eye, but it'll look, it'll appear like it's looking back and forth in a moment. So stay focused in on that. It looks like it's looking more towards the left, our left. Now it's moving towards the middle. And now it looks like it's looking to the left. I'm not saying it actually is. I'm just saying it appears to do that. And when this twack intersects with objects or in front of objects, it gives the appearance of movement in life. I'm going to do another freeze frame and do a, a slow sketch and a slow fade out so that you can see where my interpretation at the time of this editing, um, uh, where it took me. And again, if I redid this, it, I would probably have a whole new interpretation of it because they stack faces on faces on faces and, and wavy columns and rows. And again, I saw this with my eyes unaided. Even if you can't make out anything or don't, don't think this is meant to be interpreted as, as anything. I didn't just point the camera at laundry bottles just for shiggles. As the camera pans, I'm going to pause it uh, so that you can see some of the twack that's either moves with the pan of the camera or that's just in the middle of the air. So I'm going to do a real slow sketch here and a real slow fade out so that you can see where my interpretations were just at this moment. And again, if I redid this, I would probably have a whole new interpretation of it as well because, you know, they stack faces on faces on faces uh, uh, in rows and columns in wavy rolls and columns. And now as I say that, they're blasting an image of Lay's wavy chips into my eyes. Or H-E-B chips, I'm not sure. And again, I saw this with my eyes unaided without the use of a camera. 
I didn't just point my camera in the laundry room just for the sh just for shiggles.